we're back in the workshop. Today we're going to investigate what the wood chisel has in common with a servant's heart. Now many of the leadership tools that we've been looking at are just like my grandfather's tools. He added to his toolbox over a long period of time, adding tools as he had need for them. Likewise, when we're teaching Sunday school, we encounter new needs each week. And as we mature in our leadership, we add new skills in order to be effective in teaching others. Today's tool is one that can definitely help you to be great in your kingdom work. Chisels come in a wide variety of designs, each specifically intended for a particular application. There are varying widths and lengths, hardness of blade, design, the choice of the handle's material, whether wood or um, plastic. There are masonry chisels. There are wood chisels. There are gouges, cold chisels, lathe tools. Well, today we're going to look at the wood chisel. More specifically, we're going to look at the bench chisel. The wood chisel is used for tasks such as chopping out dados or dovetails, trimming joints, cleaning mortises, or inletting hinges on a door. Now the key to effective use of a chisel, no matter what the task, is for the chisel to be sharp. I've experienced the sharpness of this particular chisel just a moment ago as I cut my finger in preparation for our video. There's a beveled edge on the blade that's approximately a 25 degree angle. Now that may vary depending on the usage or the purpose of the chisel, but roughly about 25 degrees. Now the back of the blade is perfectly flat in order for the cutting action of the chisel to be maximized. Depending on the job, the chisel will be used with the bevel either up or down. And the direction of the bevel determines the depth that the chisel will penetrate into the wood grain. Chisels can cut across the wood grain as well as with the wood grain. A mallet, something similar to this, or just the heel of the hand may be used to chop with the chisel. Chopping will set and penetrate it and begin your, your hole or your dado. Chisels uh, can also be used for paring. Paring is where you use only your hand and it's use your bevel is down and you begin to move across and you develop a shaving that can allow for a very precise and perfect fit uh, by shaving uh, the wood fibers off. Again, you get just a perfect fit there where your piece will fit together, particularly in your furniture making. So what does this wood chisel teach us about leadership? Galatians 5.13 says, By love serve one another. This is a command. This is especially true for the teacher. The chisel is a tool that serves the craftsman to make a precise, accurate fit, knowing whether to use the bevel of the chisel up or down will produce the desired outcome for the craftsman. The teacher must know how and when to serve his students in order to produce the desired fit. The measure of a servant is not in how busy he is, but how profitable he is. The Greek word for servant is doulos, also translated as slave or bond slave. We are to be a bond slave of Jesus Christ. When we serve others, we are doing the kingdom work that God intended for his children. Do you want to be great in the kingdom? Matthew 20, 26 and 27 says, Whoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. The chief represents greatness, power, authority. Do you want to be great? Then serve others. 
Greatness is not measured by how many serve us, but how many we serve. Let's review some of the ways that we can serve others. First, we need to desire great things for God. You need to sharpen your blade in order to be most effective as a teacher. Make preparations. Do what it takes to have a sharp blade usable in the hands of the master. Number two, determine to be available to your master. You need to know whether to turn your bevel up or to turn it down to be the most effective work, to cut in just the right amount into the grain of your student. Number three, develop skills for greater profitability. Have the right chisel in your toolbox for whatever it is, whatever the need may arise. You may want a lathe tool or a cold chisel or a bench chisel. Number four, Turn menial tasks into expressions of love for the Lord and for others. You need to know whether to chop or whether to pair, producing that perfect fit in your student. John 12, 26 says, If anyone serves me, he must follow me. And where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him.